Hughes and Brent, it's nice to finally get a feel for what these teams are all about. Well, Kevin, you know the hype train around the NBA never stops rolling, so this league has grown in popularity globally. It seems like another jump over the past three or four years. People get built up and torn down at such a large scale. That's such a challenge for today's players to stay focused on the task at hand. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. The cell in the wing along with Johnson. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. And it's Jones in at the point. Jones kicks to Johnson. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Assertive three-point shot by Johnson. He's working towards being an efficient long-range scorer. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Great tee that time from Johnson. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. Oklahoma City moving it around. Holmgren. And he banks in the late. Holmgren's got his second bucket of the night. And once Holmgren gets the ball in there, he can finish in so many ways. Here's Jones. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. It's Dort on the wing. Took him no time at all on that one. Oh, nice job there from Holmgren. His guys appreciate when they're open, he gets them the ball. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Jones with the bounce pass. And when Benyama throws it down. A oh, fantastic dunk. And, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. Such an improved part of SGA's game. Love his passing skills. Jones looking for an opening. Taken away by Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Keldon Johnson. That's his first foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Williams for three. That shot, no good. And so the first quarter is in the books. Thunder lead by four. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. They've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. Wallace is out there with Wiggins. Then it's Williams. Then there's Shane Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Joe in at the two guard. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going here on the second. Here's Wallace. And a great assist by Gildas Alexander as that one goes in. Wallace has got the lead up to eight now for the Thunder. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Wembanyama? Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what a fun. And Gildas Alexander throws it down. Not a good idea to take a nap on Shea Kilgis Alexander in that athleticism. So much power. Way to get up. Ooh, rising and punching it on the young fella. You know he loves having that much of a height advantage. Best chance to get himself on the highlight reel. Took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Branham, the pass to Champagny. A three from Wembenyama, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. And when Wembenyama is connecting from deep, he is downright unguardable. This is how special a talent he is. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. To the inside. And Wembenyama throws it down. Watch out. Wembenyama hammering that one home. 
One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. High post shot. Goes back up. He lays it in. Wembenyama has got 13 points. Now you have to be aware of Wembenyama on the boards. Really keep a body on him. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. And the Thunder, another three. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. 18. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Welcome to halftime, everybody. The Timberwolves will face off against the Warriors out in San Francisco. Start time, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Either team could come away with a W and win this one. And now let's talk about this one. Man, what a great start for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're firing on all cylinders from... And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. We've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. We're seeing a tremendous game from Victor Rembenyama. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And this is going that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half. The forwards for him, Johnson and Sohan. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. And it's Wembenyama in at the five. And here we are watching Jalen Williams. Brent, there's a certain calm to his game, isn't there? Yeah, he's comfortable because he really can do a lot of things on the floor, so there's nothing that's going to really shut him down. It's very hard to speed this guy up. He gets an opportunity to play at his pace. That's a gift. Well, Thunder leading by nine. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and the layup falls. Gilgis Alexander's got the first points of the second half here for the Thunder. Jones against Gilgis Alexander. And a wide open look for Wembenyama. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got three assists in the game. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. Defended by Jones. Here's Williams. It's tipped. Gilgis Alexander against Jones. Pass to Wembenyama. Here's Sohan. And the powerful one-handed slam. Oh, how about the vision by Wembenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. The rebound by Victor Wembenyama. Wembenyama has got six rebounds here tonight. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game. And Holmgren pulls it down. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Dort. From past the arc. And it's Gilgis Alexander missing. And so it's Oklahoma City bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Dort and Williams up in the forward positions. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Holmgren in at the center, filling out the middle. It's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. San Antonio calls timeout. 
They're trailing by 10. There's a minute 40 left here in the fourth quarter. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team during the break. And he begged his guys to get after it on the break. He said, let's keep up the tempo, guys. You know how dangerous we are on the break. Be confident with the ball. Take risks. Move it. Guys. Thank you, David. And he gets it to go. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle starts for the Thunder. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, you win that turnover battle. It's Williams with the drive. Shot up two there. Williams has got the lead up to 12 now for the Thunder. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Thunder. This is a game where defense and you know, steal specifically generating a lot of opportunities. And, and it created possessions for them, scoring opportunities, and that effort a big part of what will be a nice victory here tonight. And now for the year, this is going to take him to seven wins. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And guys, I just felt he was tremendous tonight. His energy infected his teammates and the wrecking ball on both ends. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Count the basket. And the Thunder lead by 10. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. Holmgren with a screen on Jones. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Holmgren gets the bucket. And now a 12-point Thunder lead. Good touch from Holmgren. Looking comfortable and assertive down there. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. And they remain undefeated in 